it's very important that you check and make sure that the party that initiated that foreclosure is the party that holds your loan and held your loan at the time that that case was started. You, the foreclosure involves both the promissory note, which is your promise to pay the bank the money that you owe, and the mortgage, which is the security interest in the residence that you gave to the bank. You should compare who initiated that foreclosure with who you make your payments to, and if you can go back and find your file from the closing when you bought your house, or perhaps when you refinanced your loan, and make sure that those are the right parties. It's always a good idea for you to consult legal counsel of your choosing, whether it's through a private lawyer, a legal uh, lawyer referral service through the local bar association, or in an appropriate case, Legal Aid Society, and make sure you talk to someone to help you look at this to make sure that the right party is commencing the foreclosure. It's very important. You have to pay attention to this. You have to read the documents and consult with someone who can explain the process to you. In the Schwarzwald case, which is the recent decision of the Ohio Supreme Court, the court said that the party that in, tried to invoke the jurisdiction in that case did not have the right to do so because that party was unable to show on the date that it filed the complaint with the local common pleas court that it owned either the note or the mortgage. As a result of that, that was an improper filing. That party did not have standing to bring the case. That case ended up being dismissed and they'll have to go back and try it all over again. the probable result as a result of the Schwarzwald decision is that lenders will be a lot more careful to ascertain that before they start the process, they have to make sure that all the assignments are in order, all the endorsements are in order, and that's only right, that people that want to do a foreclosure, the banks, the lenders, the financial institutions, if they want to take a serious step against you, they need to prove to the court that they hold that loan and they have the right to proceed in state court.